State environmental officials have expanded their investigation following the discovery of so-called forever chemicals in a number of private wells in the town of Fairfield. The Department of Environmental Protection says 18 wells have tested higher than the EPA advisory levels for industrial chemicals known as PFAS. Earlier this year, high levels of the chemicals were found in milk from the Tozier Dairy Farm, believed to be from biosolids used as fertilizer for decades. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has the latest. Investigators from the Department of Environmental Protection have tested nearly 40 residential wells and water supplies near the Tozier Dairy Farm. So far, 18 wells have levels of PFAS chemicals that exceed the EPA safe limit. Town manager Michelle Flueling says the town is distributing a 30-day supply of bottled water to impacted homeowners, but that may not be enough, especially since other homes are still to be tested. We don't have confidence that the supply will maintain, especially if the numbers of wells continue to grow. Earlier this year, toxic levels of PFAS were found in the farm's milk, soil, and feed. They are a class of industrial chemicals used in household goods to firefighting foam, called forever chemicals because they take years to break down in the body and the environment. The compounds have been linked to a number of health issues, including immune system problems and organ cancers. The farm's milk supply was pulled from store shelves this summer. That contamination is believed to be from wastewater biosolids used as fertilizer on farmland for more than 25 years, a practice that is allowed in Maine. The unfortunate reality is that um, th those biosolids uh, unfortunately did contain um, PFAS that is coming back um, at a highly elevated rate. Earlier this month, before the town council, state environmental and health officials laid out their investigation. Penny Harkins lives near the farm. She says the contamination should be considered a state of emergency. Yeah. Bottled water isn't cutting it. It's not going to cover all of us and it certainly does not make us feel good to have a plastic contaminant and now we're forced to drink water out of a plastic bottle. Now this week, DEP officials are testing some of those private wells that had high levels of forever chemicals and they're looking for other contaminants. Key data they'll need to design water treatment systems that will feature carbon filters. The DEP could begin installing filtration systems early next year. The town is also looking at grants to possibly extend water to affected residents. And tests are also underway on other land sites in central Maine where biosolids were used as fertilizer but those results have yet to be released. In Fairfield, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. And the town is providing information about PFAS, health concerns, and water testing by the Department of Environmental Protection, which is available on its website. And you can get to that on our website and mobile app.